cryptocurrency arbitrage trading was way too hard until I discovered this particular trick I'm about to show you. And for the matter of fact, you can make as much as $50 daily simply by buying a particular cryptocurrency low and rapidly sell it high without having to be holding on to the coin for way too long and be exposing yourself to the volatility and the sentiment of the market. It is kind of like a simultaneous situation whereby you buy a particular cryptocurrency on a particular exchange at a lower price and thereafter you simultaneously transfer it over to the other exchange and then sell it on a much higher price. That way you would be able to capitalize with the price differences. In as much as you can literally make money with this, you know, these little price differences, you also need to understand that when it comes to making profit in cryptocurrency arbitrage trading, spotting those difference in prices plays a very significant role because without spotting those difference in prices, there is no way that you are going to be making profit like money trading cryptocurrency arbitrage trading. So spotting those difference in prices is the main role player here. That's the more reason I'm going to have to walk you through from spotting the cryptocurrency arbitrage trading opportunity and thereafter you make some in-depth calculation about the opportunity you have just spotted and then you implement the opportunity as the final stage. That way your profit is being guaranteed when these three steps are being done properly okay so if that sounds like what you are interested in and you literally want to know how you can go about all of this do smash the like button for me and sub up to the channel if you haven't already let's hop into the video real quick so first thing first spotting this opportunity is pretty simple let's say for an instant we have this particular cryptocurrency on KuCoin and it is currently traded at about 30 cents 43 penny and if we should probably add on to this other exchange that is called Mexi, you get to realize that this particular cryptocurrency like the same cryptocurrency is trading at about 30 cents 13 penny approximately so that is kind of like a few margin differences between Mexi and KuCoin. So you are going to have to buy it where it is trading low, like probably on, on Mexi because Mexi is trading way lower compared to KuCoin. So your obligation is going to be buy it on Mexi at about 30 cents 21 penny because you are definitely going to be buying from the seller section and thereafter you transfer it over to KuCoin and sell it to the buyers to the green section so you are buying at 30 22 or 20 penny and then selling at 30 41 penny so that's kind of like a few margin differences and if you probably have to make that stimulation to know how the profitability is going to look like, you get to realize that even if you are using as low as $300, you should be able to make some profit in as much as there is those differences because the differences play a major role here. So let's say for an instance, we want to like make that calculation to see the profitability before taking the next step because making your research about the opportunity you spotted also plays a major role so as to be able to know if it will be valid or not and obviously as you can see 
you'll be making two dollar and this can be done repeatedly over and over again provided this opportunity like this is valid so what i'm going to be doing in this video i'm going to have to walk you through on how to spot this same opportunity like this and also implement it because i bet after this video this opportunity like this might not be there again due to the market fluctuation that's the more reason i'm going to have to walk you through from start to finish on how to effectively spot this kind of opportunity and also make your calculation before implementing it practically so first thing first i'm going to have to be using coinmarketcap.com to spot this opportunity thereafter we up into the respective exchanges to implement the opportunity and to spot this opportunity there are varieties of ways you can literally go about spotting this opportunity but i'm going to be showing you one of the easiest ways i've been using for a couple of years now and it has been profitable for me so all you need to do to be able to spot this opportunity is to up into coinmarketcap.com on your browser okay and then click on filter okay so click on filter and thereafter you'll be working with category algorithm platform industry and the likes okay but the one we are going to be making use of for this part of the video is called ad filter so click on ad filter and thereafter you'll be working with varieties of interface on the more filter interface right here okay so the first one we are going to be looking up to is the volume first of all so first thing first change the volume to about about one to ten million okay depending on your risk tolerance okay because for the matter of fact the higher the trading volume the more volatile the coins is going to be and when the volatility is on the high side the market will quickly goes to be efficient that's the more reason we are going to be sticking to a moderate trading volume range between like 1 million to 10 million so as to be able to spot those inefficiency okay so after doing all of that for the volume like switch up the volume to 1 to 10 million and then click on applied and thereafter you up into the price section and switch up the price to 0 to 1 dollar because for the matter of fact cheaper coins tend to have more flexibility compared to those expensive ones and after doing all of that for both the volume and the price section you now click on show results after all of that is done and these are the coins that do have those inefficiency more often so all you need to do is to look up them one by one because there are literally hundreds if not thousands of them out here so you have a lot of coins to look up to so as to be able to spot those inefficiency so all you need to do is to choose any particular one you intend to use out there for the cryptocurrency arbitrage trading okay so let's look up this particular one called ont okay if you intend to use any one out here it is all subjected to you provided this strategy i'm going to be showing you are met on the one you picked so as to be able to know if the opportunity is valid or not so let's look up this particular one called ong let us see how we can spot the arbitrage opportunity and probably implement it practically in as much as the opportunity is valid okay so all you would have to do is to up into the market section so as to be able to make comparison between where you can buy low and be selling high and as you can see we have binance at 
33 cents, 65 penny. And we also have gates.io at 33 cents, 66 penny. So that's kind of like one penny differences between, you know, Binance and gates.io. So all you would need to do is to up into Binance and verify the price like the real time price and also up into gates.io so as to be able to also validate the current price of it. And after validating the current prices of it on those respective exchanges, you also need to make some additional confirmation about the you know the gas fees on those respective exchanges in respect to the blockchain so as to be able to know the fees at which you are going to be paying on the blockchain because for the matter of fact on this particular coin i told you earlier which is called map and when redrawing this map from your maxi so as to be able to sell it on KuCoin, you get to realize that there are some fees applicable on the blockchain, which is about 380 something, you know, MAP. So let's look up the value of that and know the overall profit potential when using the $300 initially. So as you can see, the coin like the gas fee is being worth about $11, which probably will not give you enough profit when using about $300. That's the more reason you need to step up your capital when it comes to cryptocurrency arbitrage trading. So as to be able to examine the fees that will be applicable in terms of the blockchain and all that trading fee applicable. And thereafter, after doing all of that, you open to be implementing it practically and be fast as possible and make sure any exchange you are going to be making use of those centralized exchanges that is trading low and high you also need to make the confirmation like a thorough research about the exchange so as to be able to know its legitimacy okay and that's all for now and if you have any further question regarding this leave your comment down below respectively i'll get to reply all of it so in the meantime i think that'll be all for now then i'll probably catch you up in my next section